that that other person is on a level you. So be good to yourself by being good to that person. But if you're selfish, that's okay. That's what it's all about. The collective good is us. We're a part of it. <laughs> it. Nobody wants to be. I get that, but we are. We are. And until we acknowledge that and start working with that, pff, we will. But can, can we hurry the hell up with that? Seriously. <laughs> can we just knock it off? That's, that's what I want to do. I want to get up on a soapbox in, in front of the entire world right now and say something like this to them. And just say, can we freaking knock it off? Can we just work together and be nice to each other? I was watching the show Survivor with my kids the other day. I rarely watch that damn TV. But I just started laughing because they were all going behind each other's backs and saying, oh, who are we going to vote off? Who are we going to vote off? And the truth is, like, nobody knew because everybody thinks everybody's lying. And this is exactly the problem, certainly in the United States today, and, and I'm assuming this applies to most of the rest of the world from, from what I've experienced of the, of the few people I've met internationally, and I've met a lot of them lately. And that's been great. God, I, I, love, I love the mix of things that we get when we do that. But I started laughing and said, hey, kids, you know what's funny? They've been doing 20 seasons of this show. And every three days, or every week as you watch it on TV, every week, that nobody, nobody tries to do the most logical thing. You know what that is? Why in hell doesn't the group just sit down on the beautiful beach there, enjoy where they're at before they have to go vote someone off, and just talk about it together. It hasn't happened once. 20 whole seasons. Not one time has any group ever... I think there are a couple times when they got down to three and they no longer had a vote in it. You know, it, it, at that point, they just sat down and just enjoyed where they're at. Why, why can't they do that with 20 of them? You know, why can't they, you know, give give Bob, who broke his leg or, or whatever the heck's going on, a chance to, to, to just truly say what he thinks and then just respond to him freaking honestly with what you feel. It's okay. It doesn't mean we have to hate each other because of it. It's like, Bob, dude, your leg's broken. We've got these crazy-ass challenges that, like, some freaking stoners, how, how high are these guys creating this these freaking challenges that these people do? It's like these ridiculous puzzles, and you got to build a canoe out of a puzzle, and <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway... You know, what? why can't you just tell, like, dude, your leg's busted, and I'm, I'm, truth is, I'm kind of worried about you, and I don't want you to be, uh, you know, hobbled the rest of your life because of this. It's only money that we're here for, and only one of us is going to get it, and let's look around, there's a lot of us. Why doesn't that happen? Give, give him a hug, man. <laughs> I'm really sorry, dude, but I'm going to have to over you. I've got to vote for somebody. <laughs> or, or why can't you tell the person in the group who's just a real asshole, you know what, I'm sick of being around you because you bring so much negative energy into my life and you're just a prick. And everybody could kind of be like, yeah, yeah, you're kind of an asshole. You know, at that point, maybe that person would get the feedback necessary to change their life and not be an asshole anymore, which is good for everybody. Because on a level, we are all the same thing biologically, genetically, scientifically. When he's an asshole, we're an asshole. And that's the biggest problem that we're facing right now. It's just there's no more honesty. People are scared to be honest. Why? Why are people scared to be honest? Because of fear. Afraid of what? That someone's going to kill us for it? That's the worst thing that could happen. Or, or, or kill our family members? Like I was just saying, guys, this body that we're in will run out. That It is a sure thing. And it will still be difficult for us, no matter how much we change, we can't change that quickly. But as someone who, who's talked to plenty of dead people, they're still there, and often coming looking for you, or watching you, and longing for you, too. They're still there. That soul, you know, no one knows how it got there, no one really knows how it goes, it's an interdimensional deal. Which is hard for people to understand, but stop being afraid. We build all this framework in our mind so we don't have fear of that is nothing to be afraid of and absolutely will happen. It's, it really is that simple. Right, right. In, in our society, it, which is changing, and I'm seeing it in front of my eyes, which is a beautiful thing, because when I came out and started talking about these things, I was terrified. That would just be ridiculed publicly nonstop, and even my children would be. 
and I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to come out, you know, and use my name. At some point, I'm going to do that when I'm comfortable with it, when I see things have changed enough. But our society now says that people like me, who, who's coming to you all saying, work together, <laughs> be good to each other. I'm talking to the angels, and I have something to say from them. I'm crazy? Wow. Don't kill the messenger. You know, and I listen to what I said just real closely because a lot of them do get killed. But you know what? I've talked to enough dead people that, you know, that certainly I'm still rooted enough in my old reality that, uh, you know, I worry about, you know, people would miss me and stuff if it ever happened because there is a maniacal group out there that tries to off people who do what I do. Well, luckily for me, we're at the period of uh, time where they know this is going to come out, and I'm helping them out. And a lot of people write me and say stuff like that. Oh, you're here from the CIA and stuff? No, I don't. <laughs> like, I'm, I imagine I'm being monitored. It's impossible to say, but, you know, I've said quite a bit publicly about this stuff, and history shows they want to talk to these people. I, I've got nothing. I actually, when I'm writing emails, in case you're screened, I often write to the CIA. Dear CIA, like, let's do lunch sometime, guys. You know, Seriously, come talk to me. I'm an open book. I want to be honest. I want to tell the truth. I, I'd love to hear what you guys know. Let's do lunch, though. Th this whole mentality of, you know, oh, we'll go off them to get them from saying the truth. No, the, the truth is the truth, and it's out there. You can't keep hiding it. it. It's at that point. You guys see that. You freaking know that. Everybody knows that in their guts right now, that a lot of truth is out there. It's all being revealed right now. Not, I'm a tiny part of that. You know, or, or, or we'll, you know, the, take him in our cars or whatever and imprison him and, and grill him. And, you know, that, that shit happens too, <laughs> which is just nonsense. Let's do lunch. I hope you guys see why I use that as an example. As to how you can do things and be happy and be at peace and not fall for these fear tactics. That would be the single most thing that I would be afraid of, I guess. And are there times that I am kinda, but not much. You know, I'm doing I'm doing what I'm here to do, and I'm doing the right thing. And someday I'm gonna croak. That's just the way it is. It said, I know the important part of me will move on. A lot of people go to church or whatever they they do to to worship whatever it is they want to worship. You know, look up to the heavens mostly and, and ask for a few breadcrumbs, I think is what it's all about for most people, but they never really think about it. Or they're scared of it, because, oh, I, I'm going to go to hell if I'm bad. Who gets to say? God? Who's God? We have no clue. Seriously? We going to keep falling for that? <laughs> Not me. I'm just going to be me and try to do the right thing and know I'm going to screw up and someday I'm going to croak and I'm going to try not to repeat my mistakes. And try to help as many people as I can. Because we're all here right now for a reason. We have all been put on this planet right now for a reason. And right now what's happening is just change. Massive, rapid evolution. So I digress there a little bit, and uh, thanks for hearing me out. And it was important to me that I point that out, because it's really important stuff. And uh, God bless Dr. Robert Lanza. Very, very, very smart man. He's a good scientist. And he opened his blinders a little bit, but if he takes them off, he's going to see the whole picture. Towards the end of the interview on Coast to Coast, which... Uh, you know, traditional thinking says I shouldn't be talking about because I see this show heading in that direction and it's, it's doing it at quite a good speed and that's great. That said, I have some help from above too, so I can't take too much credit for that. Traditional thinking says oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't even say their name. Like, <laughs> come on. Much rather work with those guys. God, they've got millions of listeners and much respect for what they do. I do it differently and whatever. That's how it's supposed to be. But
towards the end of the interview, Dr. Lanza